Hey everybody, it's Kelly. I'm here with an update for Focus T25. Excuse me. <laughs> Today is day 52. And let me just, sorry, I'm sweating again. Ugh. My glasses keep fogging up and sliding off my face. Anyway, I just wanted to make this quick video uh, to let you guys know I got my workout in today. Um, today I did core cardio. Um, I had a little bit of a mix up with my workouts for this week, so I'm a little out of order um, if you're following me on the calendar, but um, I'm trying to get back on track as of tomorrow. So um, I'm sweating right now, but today I definitely did not nail my workout. I wouldn't say I barely made it. Um, I kind of would almost venture to say, I don't think I was really present, which is very strange. Um, I was excited to come down here. I had nothing else planned but to focus on the TV, and I did exactly that. But for some reason, I could not get a sweat going. I didn't start sweating until like 14 or 13 minutes were left in the workout, which is really odd for me. So I don't know what is going on with me today, but I just... Today was just meh, you know, it just, it wasn't the best day. Um, one thing that I did differently today was I read an article um, on the Shanti Fitness website about the types of shoes that we should be using to do um, these high intensity interval workout types of programs because running shoes don't really give you um, the kind of support that you need to do all the forward, lateral, backward um, quick movements. Um, and so I have several different pairs of shoes that I wear. I do have a pair of Brooks running shoes. I also have a pair of Nike freeze, um, which are kind of a minimalist shoe because they have like a really flat sole. I use those mostly for lifting. I have used them for T25. Honestly, I have not really noticed the difference between when I use one shoe versus the other shoe, except for the fact that I know that my Brooks or I have a pair of Mizunos also, which are a lot heavier. So I noticed that the shoe is heavier, but in terms of how it feels on my foot or how I move or whether or not, you know, something is helping or hindering, it really, I really never noticed that. Um, but a lot of people were saying that they work out barefoot and I'm just a shoe person. Like I don't walk around my house barefoot. I don't walk around outside barefoot. <laughs> I, I, I always have shoes on. So I figured today I would try working out in my socks because people said that it helps. And I am kind of um, monitoring this little knee injury that I have. So I wondered if working out barefoot would feel better on my knee. And so it wasn't terrible. It was weird. And maybe that was why I couldn't get into the workout was because I was so concerned about the fact that I didn't have shoes on. <laughs> Um, it was definitely strange, but um, it didn't, I didn't notice a difference. Hi, Muffy. I didn't notice a difference between, you know, me having on a shoe and not having on a shoe. Like, I, it wasn't a miraculous, like, oh, working out with no shoes on is great. I didn't feel like that either. Um, my knee didn't hurt any worse or less per se. Um, I still felt twinges when I tried to do lunges, so most of the lunging things I just skipped and I kind of ran in place a little bit instead of doing lunges. The squats were okay, so I was able to do squats, but I didn't I didn't mess around with the lunges because I didn't want to, you know, mess up my knee any worse than it already is. Um, I noticed a lot more pressure in my shins, calves, and ankles though, um, but that might just be the fact that those are weaker areas and that I need to strengthen those and maybe if I worked out and only socks all week that by the time the end of the week came you know the lower part of my leg would feel differently um so I don't know I might try it again I might not if I do I'll be sure to let you know um so what about you you know what kind of shoes are you wearing for t25 or whatever workout you're doing I'd be interested to know you know what you think about this shoe thing so um comment let me know Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great evening.